Hello everyone, welcome to Formula Story. In the part 3 of Remainder Theorems, I will be discussing the Wilson's Theorem. In the previous two parts, I have discussed the Fermat's Theorem and the Euler's Theorem. The link of the same you can find in the description box. So let's begin. Now the general format of Wilson's Theorem is as stated. Suppose you are asked to find the remainder of a-1 factorial upon a, then the answer is a-1. Suppose you are asked to find the remainder of a-2 factorial upon a, then the answer is 1. The only thing to remember here is that a shall always be a prime number. Let's look at a few examples to clarify the theorem better. Suppose you are asked to find the remainder of 46 factorial upon 47 and if you assume 47 to be a then 46 is a minus 1. So the question is of the format a minus 1 factorial upon a and as we saw here that the remainder of a minus 1 factorial upon a where a is a prime number is a minus 1. So 47 here is a prime number as well. Therefore our answer will be 46. Right? Now let's look at this second example. Suppose you are asked to find the remainder of 45 factorial upon 47. If we assume 47 to be a then 45 will be a minus 2. Hence our question is of the format a minus 2 factorial upon a where a which is 47 is a prime number and according to the Wilson's theorem the answer for the same will be 1. So hence our answer for this question will be 1. So the only precaution that you need to take is that the denominator which is a shall always be a prime number and you can use the two formats of Wilson's theorem which are a minus 1 factorial upon a is equal to a minus 1 and a minus 2 factorial upon a is 1. So that's it people, I'll be coming up with one more video based on Chinese theorem. Till then do like my video and subscribe to my channel and also post your valuable feedback so that I can improve at my upcoming videos. Thank you.